Today we're going to have a look at another one of my personal pens. This pen has also been reviewed, but this is an odd one. This one was made by my friend William Shakur. You can buy them. It's possible there is another sort of infrastructure now, but, but back in the day it was only Instagram. You had to contact him through. These are 3D printed pens. I feel like I'm in a weird position. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Sorry. These are 3D printed pens. I saw this for the first time uh, with my friend Wacko Jacko, uh, who had one, and I think there are some interesting things going for this pen. Before we get into this, this is not for everyone. This pen is not for everyone. It is huge. Here is a Pilot Parallel. Uh, massive pen, very thick very girthy and um, it has facets there is also a flat top version now i want to say this one is called the titan 3d printed except of course for the nib the feed number eight nib bock in this case titanium and it has a piston so it's piston filled uh, you can you have these ink windows so you can see how much ink is left huge very, very big. Faceted, and the section is faceted as well, and for some reason it works. It doesn't really post, but I don't think you really need to post this. Big, massive, huge, large ink capacity, because it's, it's, a, it's a piston with a, with a large ink chamber. What do I like about this? I don't know, man. It's weird. It's a strange pen, but it really appeals to me. I find it comfortable. I find it pleasant to use. As I said, the shape is not for everyone. Uh, they come in different colors, though, which is kind of neat. I think it's, I thought it was kind of nice that it's 3D printed. It gets polished nicely, so it's very smooth. It's uh, You don't feel ribs or anything from the layers of the printing. I like it. How odd. How odd a pen. Not something I use every day. Not something I use in every context. Uh, take this to a work meeting and you'll definitely get some looks. I know. I tried. And if you like bigger pens, it's kind of fun. A fun pen to play with. And this is also the type of pen, uh, because there is a plastic, what do we call this, sleeve inside the barrel, which is the actual ink reservoir. I'm not picky in this one with ink. So strange inks, weird inks, inks I wouldn't put in more expensive or fancy pens. I put in this because I don't care. It's just a plastic sleeve, right? There's, there's no real rubber parts or anything that I can tell. I love it. It's strange but I'm happy to have it. So, it also has a number eight titanium nib. That I like because those are quite springy. This one is definitely a very springy one. So it's kind of fun to play with and to fiddle with if you want to have some line variation. I will show you that in just a second in the writing sample. And that kind of makes it a fun pen to play with. So that's how I look at this. This is a fun pen to play with and that's pretty much it. So let's just look at how this pen writes and then we'll see what you think. All right, let's do that. Okay, so here we go with the William Shakur. I'm just going to write Shakur, if you don't mind. Ew. Titan, in it. Titanium nib, bit of feedback as you would expect from titanium. If you've ever used a titanium nib, you know what I'm talking about. But the advantage is that you get quite a bit of springiness to it. You have to be careful. You don't really get the feedback that is telling you, oh, don't, don't push this any further. So you have to be a little careful. But having said that, you can get some serious uh, line variation out of these pens without any real issues, I would say. Uh, just don't, like, don't, don't overdo it. I make it sound scarier than it is. You, I mean, you, you, I mean, you, you kind of get a feel for. I can push this nib this far, and if you push it too far, yeah, well, you bend it out of shape. <laughs> it, it, it's really, again, it's not as terrifying as I, as I, I make it sound. But uh, what I like about it is that you, you get this really cool line variation. There's a bit of, I know, there's a bit of finickiness. Uh, I, I have noticed that, but that's that's the nib. Uh, 
In any case, I, I like this pen a lot. It's definitely not for everyone. It's weird. Uh, I'm, I'm just being honest. Not everybody likes this shape. I think it's great. For me, it's comfortable. I, I love using it, but um, very interesting. So for the record, the ink was Waterman, uh, yes, Waterman Green. Sorry, I didn't say that. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. So I uh, I hope this was useful. I hope this kind of makes it clear why I enjoy using this pen. It's uh, it's definitely peculiar, but it's fun and in my mind unique. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope this was useful. Glad to see you later. Bye bye.